Hello, I present Cross Level 5.0 in size small from 2022. It's almost the highest version of levels with aluminium frame lineup. Its catalog price is 1090 euros and that's what you get for it. Complete Shimano 1x11 Dior 5100 drivetrain, SR Santor air fork, basic SRAM level brakes, heavy wheels on ball bearings Shimano hubs, Schwalbe Rapid Rope wire tires and a battered frame with internal routing made of the better aluminium light alloy. Parts such as grips, handlebars, stem, terribly uncomfortable saddle and one bolt seat post, in my opinion it's a shame at this price, are branded by Cross, so in general it can be said that for today's standard bike is decent. However, there are some minuses, but I would like to emphasize that this applies only to people who want to improve their bike in the future. If you don't have it in your plan, don't treat them as a flaws. Firstly, frame do not have tapered head tube, which significantly limited the choice of a new fork. Secondly, there is also lack of true axles, hubs are on clamps, and what's more, the rear one also has the rare boost 141 spacing, so finding good used wheel set would be very difficult. On the other hand, cost of new ones is about one third of the cross value, and more most likely, later on, you won't be able to use them in the next bike. Therefore, if you plan to buy a bike as a base for later upgrades, the most important thing is fork and frame in boost spacing. Level 5.0 in stock configuration weighs 14.5 kg. After replacement of cassette with a lighter SLX, handlebars, seat post, saddle, SE extra chunky grips, tires for super fast continental race kings, and best in my opinion, adjustable Topic Modula 2 water bottle cage, links to these parts and more you can find in the top right corner and in the description, weight dropped below 14 kilograms. In the future, you can also replace the crank with a lighter SLX or XTs, and in my opinion, there is no sense to invest more in this bike. Level is nice to ride, the frame is really stiff, it also has external bottom bracket, a lot of space for tires and glossy paint job, making it easy to clean. So if you are looking for a solid and simple bike, you do not plan to spend a lot of money for upgrades, then I can honestly recommend it. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments, and if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe my channel, where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!